So many things have happened since uh, the last video. The whole plasterboard is up for the kitchen area, ready to be plastered. Floor is down. Fuse box is on. And the whole roof is in with a loft hatch ready to be filled. Part of the wall there where the uh, vocal booth is going to be is pretty much built. And then we go forward into the control room. All the door trim for the door is done and looking lovely. Dimmer switches are on. And we're just attaching the first piece of acoustic fabric to the left front base trap. Very exciting. Uh, the lights are in. Uh, all the base traps are filled. All the wiring is in for mic channels, internet, CCTV, the TV monitor, and into the back of the room. Pretty much all that is done as well. They're going to be covered in acoustic fabric, the base traps. That diffuser is going to be hung further up on the wall so it fits flush. And even the wooden floor is put down. We have these cool floor sockets which are actually buried in the sand within the floor itself. Just the carpets going at the back and a few finishing touches. And over there where those plug sockets are is where my 12 tens are going to be and there's going to be a shelf mounted here eventually uh, and all the wiring for that is in that wire there is phono cable which feeds all the way around and ends up over there around the back of the desk so we can feed the sound from the decks I never thought I'd see the day PBH doing proper hard graft. Enjoying yourself? <laughs> I'm not pleased. I look like him. <laughs> Even better. I can watch him graft in full widescreen. Work peeps, work. So many things have happened since the last video. Uh, one being made quite a mess outside. That used to be my garden. It's now a mud bath. But we have managed to dig out the a pathway and put the majority of the sleepers in place and do some basic concreting. This will all be flagstones eventually. The drain is in. Um, new security lights and CCTV and all that jazz. The main plasterboard construction is all ready for the kitchen to go in. That just needs plastering and uh, Finishing off the kitchen units, etc. That is where the vocal booth is going to be. Huge loft space, which is going to be quite interesting to go. Let's have a look up here. This is just amazing aircon. That's the main aircon unit up there. Feeding around the ducting, which goes all the way around and down to the back of the control room. All the piping leads out to the wall unit. Just a maze. Got some, got some ruffle left over as well, which will be used for the vocal boom right up. And then the control room, which is pretty much done. Look at the back of the room. If you remember these base traps which were built are now filled and covered in acoustic fabric. The diffuser is now in place and at the back of the wall. That's going to be hung flush to the roof and the other base trap over there, and that's where my shelf with decks on is going to go and the token sofa of course which is a sofa bed, nice carpet in and everything and if we look at the front of the control room all the fabric is all on and pretty much everything is finished here apart from my new desk which is on order and should be arriving very soon So it's now January 2018 and I have a huge pile of rubbish outside the studio. I will need to go. My garden is completely ruined, so that's going to need some work. But the pathway is nearly finished. Just got a few 
of the sleepers to go in and the paving slabs to go down. You can see the aircon working away, keeping it nice and warm in here. And the main structure for the kitchen is all in, ready just to be plastered. And just some simple kitchen units put in so that we can make brews. And over there is where the vocal booth is. The whole structure is all built, just needs finishing off. And the acoustic door, which is sitting behind all this plasterboard. And then that vocal booth is ready. The control room is almost feeling uh, finished now because my brand new desk has arrived. Look at that beast. We're going to be putting a link in the comments so you can find these guys. Uh, they're called Custom Studio Desk, I think, and they build desks easy of the quality of some of the bigger brands. Um, but they custom size them so you can have it exactly the size of your studio. They even change the design and the layout to however you want it. Amazing desk. Really, really nice. Really happy with it. So this control room is pretty much done now if you look there's just a few little things to do we still have to put the diffuser on the back wall properly so it's flush with the roof obviously i've got my studio flippers and yes they are down further and we just need to get the deck stand on the wall all the wiring is all behind that as you saw from previous videos already it's just put in Basically a shelf on there. And then my 1210s, which are right there, can be up on the wall. Got some cool LED lighting going on behind the uh, monitors and behind the keyboard. And pretty much everything else is done. We're now using this. We've made a few bangers. And I'm really, really happy with how it's come. We're going to do another one, maybe one more video once the kitchen vocal booth is done, uh, just to show how we did that. Um, but yeah, this is a new PBH and Jack Studio for many years to come. Thanks for watching.